This is my special update about the Amorphophallus titanum plant uh, because this is the part which is now already shown in another video. These are the seeds and here we see the plant going down inside the earth so there is completely hidden under the earth a kind of potato which is the, the bulb from from where is coming out this this plant which is now going to disappear because it did its job there was a flower here I never got yet the chance to video the flower uh, this is what is coming after the flower is gone these seeds now the the update compared to my other video is that we found a plant a small plant of Amorphophallus titanum which is this one it didn't grow here somebody found it in another place and just showed up with it and I was so happy that I can show you this one in the video together with this one which I found myself so here you see at the bottom of this plant is this what I call a, a potato style of thick uh, root so there's a special word for it it's in the description you see there that thing now has a size of basically a, a very small potato but it turns out that there are some uh, up to a hundred kilo I was reading on the internet now I never saw such a big one this is a small one now and I will spend time to video it before planting it so that we have this one on record So this is the powerhouse of the this the so-called Amorphophallus titanum. Here we see the, the the part of the plant which is outside of the earth. This one will be inside the earth, not visible. And this is the outside part. It has some funny dots. I don't know if this is normal or if it's a disease and then this plant normally should stand like this we're going to plant it later and observe it and here we have the a little bit sick looking leaves but the other one looks more healthy here we have it the shape of uh, these leaves is easy to recognize once you have seen one I put it just beside it now so I have my hands free you see that is uh, the way they look now they are a little bit close these leaves maybe it's because it has been removed from the ground and it's craving for water so maybe that plant has the faculty here you see like to close the leaves and open them this uh, this may be a reaction to lack of water due to this it hasn't been taken out of the ground for a long time just a few hours ago but uh, we're gonna give it a new place to grow maybe just somewhere close hereby anyhow we'll keep an eye on it and update you on the growth of this plant now I think we will not be able to make a video of this one getting a flower because I was reading that it is a very rare event but funny everybody in the area knows about these plants because they call them the bad smelling 
plant. I mean, there's another word I forgot now. Put it later in another video how the locals call that plant, but they all say that this is a bad smelling plant and and I'm so enthusiastic about it, they basically don't understand why I yet. But when I show them the, the interesting news about this item on the internet, they are able to also um, value it more. Now I'm eager to get that smell, bad smell. I want to know how does it, it seems to be terrible smelling, but if it is a plant, it's not so disgusting as if the, you can imagine something bad smelling and there's a dead animal, then you are disgusted by the dead animal, but the bad smell is not really the, the most disgusting thing. It's the thought that there's something terrible connected to the bad smell. And if it's a, it's, if it's a flower, which is so rare and so beautiful, actually I will go there and search for that bad smell and not feel disgusted because it's just a chemical product coming out of a very beautiful flower. So that's my idea about bad smell. Just depends who is emitting it and what is the chemical behind it. Yes, it is. It basically it's imitating the smell of something rotten, but it's absolutely not rotten. Okay, I hope you didn't do not mind that I talked so much. Some of my videos I'm talking, some I'm not making any comment because this is a special situation that we have two amorphophallus plants so close to each other moved by human intervention that this was necessary to make comments otherwise people would wonder what what is the deal here why is that plant not in the ground uh, last close up on the potato size uh, bulb real nice close up on the on the plant upper part it's about 50 centimeter high now and this is a close up on the leaves if it stays for a couple minutes ah, yes so I'll open that leaf to show the top of the leaf that's how it looks Mm. but it wants to close mm. and beside it is the the other larger older plant which has already given a flower and the seeds have been uh, emerging from this part of it where the flower used to be the flower used to start here and go up there must have been a flower at more than 50 centimeter size but we came too late so let's leave that one dropping its seeds. I looked down there, there are no more seeds. I collected them yesterday and they don't... Ah, this one is maybe ready to fall off because they should... They should uh, go off easy before collecting them. Maybe some animals will eat them too. Looks like some did not develop as others. Okay, this is already shown in another video, this plant. It was now only about this one and I make an update on this one because I will plant it and then let's check if it is able to grow in the new place where it will be. Regarde Frédéric, je fais cette vidéo pour toi. Ce truc là, je me rappelle même plus que c'est comme plante. Uh, Peut-être du manioca. Euh, et et c'était juste un bâton, il n'y avait même pas de racine. Je l'ai enfoncé dans la boue et le truc, ça y est, il grandit. Il grandit comme ça, juste planté dans le sol avec un, 
un coup de force. J'ai même pas creusé de trou parce que la moue est molle. Alors je sais pas si les autres plantes vont survivre au même traitement. Il y en a qui apparemment arrivent à se relever. Tu vois, c'est tout ça, je l'ai foutu dans la boue qui était encore. Tu, 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 tu disparais dedans si tu marches dessus sans planche, qui venait de ce lac. Voilà. Alors, je suis en train de replanter ça. J'ai mis de la canne à sucre aussi, je ne sais pas où elle est passée. Des espèces de bâtons. Ah, derrière là. Il y a des, des bâtons de canne à sucre, je ne sais pas s'ils si, si vont survivre. Ça, ça m'a l'air d'être du manioca alors, parce que ça ne ressemble pas à la canne à sucre. Voilà. Donc on verra ça.